friends and comrades, millions of people up and down our country today will be shocked to hear the news that the BBC had refused to broadcast the appeal from the Disaster Emergency Committee. But even more disgraceful was the controller of BBC statement this morning that the BBC will fearlessly continue to report the situation in Gaza. Well, I don't know where she has been, but the fact of the matter is, instead of reporting fearlessly, the BBC has been reporting in fair. Despite the efforts of the brave men and women, members of the NUJ, the BBC, like other parts of the international press, has not been led into Gaza to tell the truth to the British people and to the world about the massacre that has taken place there. And that's a disgrace that the BBC has not fought and stood up for press freedom. The BBC has accepted the line from the Foreign Secretary of Israel, which says that there is no humanitarian situation in Gaza. Well, how would she know? Because to recognize a humanitarian situation, you've got to be a humanitarian yourself, and that is not self-evident in terms of what's been said. But let's be clear, the BBC's decision is not an editorial decision. It is a political decision. And what has brought myself and millions of other people to protest is because we have always had a tradition to condemn political interference with the press. We believe in a free press, we believe in truth reporting. And the BBC has crossed that line by not supporting the appeal from the Disaster Emergency Committee. So your presence today is to send a very strong message to the BBC. We will support the Palestinian people, we will support the people of Gaza, and we will fight for the freedom of the BBC. It belongs to us, not the bureaucracy. It's part of our heritage and part of our democracy. Thank you very much and keep it the fight.